Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about Nina Simone. Nina Simone had several nicknames. She was considered the High Priestess of Soul, although she didn't like being called that herself. She was also known as the singer of the Black Revolution and the Civil Rights Diva. She was very active during the Civil Rights Movement, which we'll talk about today. And she was known for her powerful stage presence and her soulful voice. She sang many different genres, gospel, pop, blues, jazz, and a lot of folk music. As a matter of fact, she classified her music mostly as folk. She also wrote an autobiography about her life, and she is one of the only popular female jazz artists that's classically trained. Nina Simone was born Eunice Kathleen Wayman in Tryon, North Carolina on February 21st, 1933. She began playing piano at age three and sang in her church choir. And her childhood dream was actually to become recognized as the first African-American professional classical pianist. Her parents and her piano teacher really believed in her talent and so did her community. And so they all got together and put some funds together for her so that she could achieve her dream of becoming a pianist. And with these funds and support, she actually got into Juilliard to study classical piano. Unfortunately, after a couple of years, it became too expensive and she ran out of money. So she moved back home, which at the time for her family was Philadelphia. And she tried out for the Curtis Institute of Music as it was a more affordable program. However, she did not get into the Curtis Institute um, and she believed that the school denied her admittance because she was African American. After her rejection from the Curtis Institute of Music, she turned away from classical music and put that dream of being a classical pianist aside. So she started playing jazz and blues piano in Atlantic City in the 1950s. And after a while, at the request of venue owners, she started singing along to her music. She took the stage name Nina, that came from a nickname that her boyfriend gave her, and Simone, inspired by the French actress Simone Sigourney. She released her first full album in 1957 with Bethlehem Records. And in 1958, she released her first hit called I Love You Porgy in 1958, and this sold one million copies. Over the next four decades, Nina Simone recorded 40 albums with various record labels, including RCA. Her mid-career was really highlighted by the civil rights movement. By the mid-1960s, she befriended Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, and she performed at many civil rights demonstrations, giving her the title, The Voice of the Civil Rights Movement. In 1963, she wrote her first anthem for the civil rights movement in response to violence against African Americans in the South. One event in particular that precipitated this song was the Birmingham bombing of the four African American girls in their church. She wrote several songs during this time um, in the civil rights movement. And after the assassination of Martin Luther King in 1968, Simone and her bassist Greg Taylor wrote the song, Why the King of Love is Dead. And they performed at the Westbury Music Festival, um, so it was heard by a lot of people. After witnessing the injustices and the distress of the civil rights movement, Nina Simone didn't really want to live in the United States anymore. So she went abroad for several years and visited many places, including Barbados, um, but eventually, she settled in the south of France. Once the advocacy and demonstrations of the civil rights movement was over, she also began recording again in 1978. And she kind of had this second surge in her career when her song, My Baby Just Cares For Me, was featured in a United Kingdom Chanel No. 5 commercial. In her later years, she battled with breast cancer, and she died on April 21st, 2003, at 70 years old. Nina Simone was a global catalog bestseller, and she sold over 1 million CDs in the last decade of her life. She was given three honorary doctorates from Amherst College, Malcolm X College, and the Curtis Institute of Music, which is where she actually got rejected um, when she auditioned to be a classical pianist. And it's said that she found out about the third honorary doctorate from the Curtis Institute close to her death, and so that was probably something that was very special to her. She received four Grammy nominations, two during her life and two posthumously. 
In 2000, she was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame for her first hit, I Loves You, Porgy. And in 2018, she was enlisted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In 2019, the Library of Congress selected her first recording from the Civil Rights Movement to be preserved in the National Recording Registry for its artistry, historical, and cultural significance. <laughs>